98% of the water that leaves our state falls on our state. So we don't look upstream to almost anyone. 2% of our water comes from somewhere else. Uh, the rest of the water that leaves Minnesota is our water. So it is our responsibility to do right. So the potential impacts that we raised were um, sensitive environmental areas. We also talked about the spill and response risk. We also said that there are very uncertain ecological and human health risks that need to be evaluated. We've also, as I said, raised a number of concerns about the roots and the alternative alignments that should be considered. We think that in let's make it clear what the impacts are. Let's get that information in front of the public so they can understand and have their questions answered. Then we can have a more meaningful discussion. We also need to consider the risk of spills and cleanup and response actions. And those costs are borne by the companies when there's a spill, but the public pays a great cost as we look at the future of our water resources. And remediating those spills and response actions takes decades. And I think the more we ask of uh, our, ourselves and of the companies that come to do business here, what's your footprint like? And what can we do to reduce your footprint so that we can show that it can be viably done in our state? We can continue to have a healthy economy and we can do it in a way that produces jobs and benefits our environment. Our plan, you know, our plan across the agencies is to work diligently with the PUC and to ask all these questions now and to be very direct with the company. I'm going to keep asking the questions, providing the information, uh, both to the companies and to uh, the Public Utilities Commission, and we're going to do a full and thorough job of commenting that process, as we have. Uh, and I'm very proud of the work that our staff has done to contribute to that dialogue. Uh, it's, it's probably, uh, I'm told uh, by others, that they didn't expect we would come out with a as strong a statement as we did. Um, I want you to know that we do, we do that, and, and I say that not just because of who the PCA is, but because of who my colleagues in the administration are. We all work together as a team, and that's the way we'll continue to work, to ask all these questions and hopefully reach don't just talk about pipelines, talk about everything else. Talk about the rest of our lives, the rest of our society, and the rest of what we do that impacts our air, our land, and our water, and do it in a way that is respectful of your neighbors.